Hello everyone, it's a great honor to be here to talking about my research. And uh, my research topic is the research of improve waste heat recovery efficiency in thermal electric generator with passive evaporated cooling heat sink. And my name is Liang Junzhen. My professor is Hun uh, Wukang. And uh, I come from the China National University in Korea. So now let's start my presentation. I will start from four parts, introduction, theory answers, experiment verification, and finally summarize my work. Uh, actually, the use efficiency of the fossil fuel is very low. More than 60% of the global industrial energy consumption is emitted in the form of waste heat. But fortunately, the thermal energy generate, which we call TEG, can continue convert the waste heat to uh, electricity. And uh, the TEG have a lot of advantages, like uh, no moving parts, uh, compact, compactness, and the environment friendliness, and the high highly reliability. So it will really be used in different fields like uh, automobile waste heater and the solar energy and ge uh, geothermal energy and the hum human heat. And uh, actually the TEG efficiency is given as the uh, following equation. And uh, so we are the ZT is the figure merits, TH and TC are TEG hot and cold temperature respectively. And uh, in order to obtain the higher TG output uh, capacity, one way is to develop uh, the normal thermal energy elements, uh, which is uh, with the higher ZT value. And another way is efficiently use the extending TG to obtain the larger TG temperature difference, which is a higher TH and lower EC. And uh, the T, uh, these days, uh, really have a lot of heat distribution method to or used as to using as uh, TG. So some like uh, such like uh, post air cooling method and the water cooling method, and this two kind of method is uh, very useful and they're very efficient. But uh, it still have a disadvantage, which is uh, it needed uh, external energy. But the TG uh, energy conversion performance is very low. So it's unsuitable for TG. So however, another research they try to use in a different cooling uh, way, like uh, phase changing material or relative cooling method to enhance the performance of TG. And that's also useful. But uh, in my research, I want to try to find another way. So as we all know, the evolving cooling is a very a uh, common, uh, common, uh, common effect on the nature. So like they already be using different fields like the environment cloning and the human body cloning and the battery cloning and the electronic uh, product cloning and the PV panel cloning. And because the evolving cloning has a strong heat distribution capacity and no cost. So we already do uh, the theoretic work and the experiment in experimental work in my previous research, and then that will already be published in the different journal. So, but in here I want to improve more. So I tried to combine the heat sink with the evolving cone. So I made this one. We call it passive evolving cone heat sink. So this um, passive evolving cone heat sink uh, directly connected with each cold side. And it's composed by the uh, normal heat sink with a super hydrophilic paper towel. And that paper towel contains the water. So when we uh, supply the heat to the TG hot side, and we can find in the cold side of TG, we will have the convection heat distribution and the evolving cooling. That one will be uh, effectively cold, cooling the cold, uh, cold side of TG. And then, so it will can improve the performance more efficiently. So this is the TG structure and some rest of the network. We can find in the figure, in the right figure, it will introduce, introduce a new heat distribution, which we call the Goblin Pony QEVA. And uh, we can find this one. This one is, we call the passive evolving pony heat sink. 
we call as a PECHS. The fin is a composite fin, but because the word fin is very thin, so we assumption it's isosomer, and uh, and in the fins in, on the fin we'll have two function. One is a uh, no nature correction, and another one is evolving cloning. And then we did the serial calculation. So first uh, we don't know the fin's temperature. So we at the beginning we have to initially guess the fin temperature at ds, and then we can get different uh, heat flow like uh, heat flow across to the TG and heat, uh, heat flow about uh, the, the convection in distribution and the evolving cooling distribution. And uh, we can, can see here, if every value, uh, if, if, if this equation equal to zero, that many radius at, uh, at the steady state, state, state conditions. So we stop and out the value. If no, we have to calculation again until we get the directly fins temperature TS. And after we get the fins temperature TS, we can know the uh, each point temperature and we can know the TG out of the capacity like voltage and out of the power. So firstly, we try to figure out the impactor of the TH and the RH on TG out of the capacity. TH is house side temperature and the RH is the read humidity. And another influencing parameters are fixed. So from the figure A, B, C, D, we can know for any output current, the TG output capacity, like output voltage and power, is positively uh, correlated with TH. And uh, at the same TH conditions, the TH output capacity inversely correlated with the IH. But meanwhile, the influence in the the influence of IH is relatively tiny. We can saw from the B and D. Uh, uh, even the relative humidity is 100%. It's only decrease a little bit uh, compared with the one IH equal to zero. And uh, uh, then is a factor of the environment temperature, T A and B, uh, on the TEG output capacity. Another influencing parameter also in fixed. So the results indicated the TH output capacity is uh, reversely correlated with the environment temperature. Mm, and uh, but compared with the normal heat sink, normal heat sink case, the black one is uh, the, the black one is normal heat sink case. We can find uh, the environment temperature has a less impact on the passive evolving cooling heating case, which we can find in the big A. So for the normal heating case, it's uh, from uh, temperature of environment temperature from zero to 40, the output voltage decrease maybe almost uh, 50%. But for the uh, PCHS case, only decrease about 10, 20%. And then it's a factor of the ILF it's a fin height on the TG output capacity. So we can find it from bigger, the, uh, the TG output capacity is uh, positively correlated with uh, the fin height LF. However, as LF increase, the, impo the improved rate of the cloning performance of PECHS uh, is decreased because uh, uh, performance increased rate is uh, decreased. And then it's a uh, factor the fin thickness, TF. So we can find that now the fin, uh, fin thickness increased, the performance of TG are uh, uh, decreased. But compared with uh, normal heat sink case, the PEC uh, HS uh, uh, passive evolving cooling heat sink case is only decreased maybe. 1%, but the normal heat sink case is decreased 20%. And the finally, is a factor of the fins number M on TH, TG performance. We can find the consider, considering the uh, heat distribution capacity and the material cost and the manu manufacturing cost, there is an uh, optimized fins number M in PCHS. But we can find it from ABCD figure around the fins number increase. Firstly, 
the performance is increased, then it uh, started to decrease the all chain or increased rate uh, decreased. But the primary research is all about the series answers. So, it, so what what we needed to do is to do the experiment verification to figure out if that uh, series Q model is correct or not. So in here, this is experiment uh, set up and uh, we, uh, we can find this, uh, the main part is uh, B and C. We can find this TG device is uh, composed by the heat rate TG and the PECHS, which is a passive evolving quantity sink. And uh, this PECHS can continue, uh, can soak in the water uh, by itself through the uh, capillary force because this PCHS the fins, uh, the fin covered by a thin layer paper tower, we can find in the figure D, this kind of paper tower can soak in the water uh, very fast. And uh, then we compared the normal heat sink phase and the passive evolving pony heat sink phase, the pony performance. Uh, we can find the passive evolving pony heat sink have the better pony performance so, for example, if the hot side temperature is fixed at uh, 100, 150 such a degree, uh, of, uh, the normal heat sink case, the fins, num fins temperature is uh, about 110, 110 such a degree. But for the passive evolving cone heat sink case, the fins temperature is about only about 70, 70 such a degree. So that meaning the passive of cooling heat sink is and uh, largely colder the TG's cold size. And then we compare the, the experimented data and the, the theoretical, data, theoretical data. We find uh, the, uh, the experiment data and the theoretical data is uh, matched very well. And uh, from the figure we can find uh, uh, the uh, passive evolving cone heat sink case can enhance the performance of, of the TG uh, maybe several times compared with the normal heat sink case. So finally, it's uh, summarized. So in this research, I construct training a novel passive evolving cone heat sink to enhance the visitor heat recovery capacity of a TG. And uh, I establishing the uh, safety model of PCHS cloning TG and the impactor uh, key parameters on TG out the capacity was investigated. And the control group was uh, constructed and the output capacity of TG on the PCHS and the NHS uh, cloning was compelled. And finally, the research shows that the PCHS is an efficiently passive cloning device and has the prospect of being applied to another cloning fields like the PV boat cloning and the boat and the building cloning. And uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me directly. Thank you.